Hey again, everybody. Thanks for coming back and hanging out with Mr. Bauer. Today, we're going to be talking about main idea and supporting details. And today, we're going to be focusing on a nonfiction text, which means that it is about something in real life. So let's take a look at main idea and supporting details. All right. So on the left, we have a paragraph about some information about scorpions. And on the right, we've got four steps that can show you how to identify the main idea. Let's go over those real quick. First thing that we're going to do is we'll read the text, right? And that way we have the information in our brain. Then the second, we're going to try to figure out the topic. And the topic would be like one word that would explain everything that these sentences describe. And I'll give you a hint. A lot of times you can just look in the title and that'll tell you the topic. Number three, the next thing you're going to look for are repeated details, things that are said over and over. And you can find bolded, underlined, or italicized words. Italicized is when they're a little slanted. Okay. And then number four, you can ask, what is the author trying to teach me? All right. So when we're reading nonfiction, most of the time it's for information. It's informative. And so when you're done, you have to say, what did I learn from that situation? So let's take a look at scorpions on the left, and I'll keep the four um, steps of how to find a main idea on the right side. So go ahead and follow along. Here we go. Scorpions. The desert is an extreme environment, and animals that live in the desert have to be tough. The scorpion has many adaptations that allow it to survive in this habitat. By changing its heart rate, some scorpions only have to eat one time a year. This low heart rate also allows the scorpion to live in temperatures below freezing, perfect for desert nights. Scorpions have to ha have at least six eyes, but some scorpions have 12 eyes. This helps them escape predators and catch prey. Another adaptation that helps scorpions catch prey and protect themselves from predators is venom in their tails. Scorpions are really tough animals. Okay, now that we've read the text, we're going to identify the topic, and you might be able to figure out what this whole thing is about in one word. You also might have noticed that we had some underlined word and some repeated details. And then after we're finished reading, you might have learned something about scorpions, and that would be step four. So what I have here is we have our little cloud up here. This is our one word, our topic, and if you said that it's all about scorpions from the title, you bet that's what we're going to put in here. All right, now the next one is we have bullets and boxes, or I'm sorry, we have boxes and bullets, all right? These little dots here, we call those bullets when we're typing things out. So in the box, what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to figure out the main idea. So this is about scorpions, but what about scorpions? Now we have to be a little bit more specific. And then down below, we're gonna have a few details. So let's first jump into the text and we're going to figure out what we're learning about scorpions here. And I see it says extreme environment and then this word adaptations. Okay, so how it adapts itself. Well, it can change its heart rate. It has six, maybe 12 eyes. It has um, venom in their tails. Okay, so what I'm thinking is that our main idea probably has something to do about the scorpions adaptations in the desert in order to help them survive. In our details, we talked about heart rate, its eyes, and its venom. So let's take a look here. Scorpions must adapt to their environment in order to survive. You bet that's what we had, right? And how does it adapt? Well, changes in their heart rate. And right here it says temperatures below freezing. So we typed in to survive in cold temperatures. Only eats one time a year. I think I missed that. Right, where was that here? Right here by changing its heart rate. Some scorpions only have to eat one time a year. There that is. We got six to twelve eyes and the reasons for that. And then venom in their tails, and that is to catch prey. Okay. So by using this boxes and bullets, we see that we have a topic, a main idea, and some details. And by doing that, we can take all of this information and we can turn it into a main idea. Uh, and we can figure out the main idea and details. So short and sweet today. Just a little information for you guys. Hope this helps. And we will see you in the next video.